When setting your seat position, you'll need to adjust both the height and the depth to ensure a comfortable ride. To adjust your seat height, turn the lever below the seat to the left. Move the seat to your desired height. If you are adjusting your seat for the first time, we recommend that you set your seat height to be aligned with your hip bone when standing next to the bike. When you have your desired height, tighten by turning the lever to the right. If the lever is sticking out at an angle, simply pull the lever out and let it drop to the six o'clock position so it's out of your way. Next, set the seat depth. Loosen the lever below the seat by turning it to the left. If the lever bumps into the weight, simply pull the lever out and down. Slide the seat into the desired position and then tighten the lever by turning it to the right. If this is your first time adjusting your seat, we recommend starting with the seat placed in the center. You can also determine a starting depth by placing your elbow at the nose of the seat, then pushing the seat forward until your fingertips touch the handlebars. Once you've taken a few rides, you can always adjust the settings for comfort. Your handlebar height can also be adjusted to allow for a perfect fit. To adjust your handlebars, first loosen the lever on the front of the bike. Standing in front of your seat, place your forearms under the handlebars. Gently lift them, hold them into place, and then tighten the lever. If this is your first time adjusting your handlebar height, we recommend that you start out by setting the bars at their highest level, and then reducing the height until they're comfortable. Once you've taken a few rides, you can always adjust for your setting comforts. Clipping in and out of your bike correctly helps to keep your foot in place for a safe and smooth ride. To clip in, start by standing with one foot on each side of your bike frame. Make sure that the pedals are lying flat with the Peloton logo facing up. Point your toes down to fit your cleat into the pedal, then push down through your heel until you hear a click. This motion is similar to putting boots into skis or putting your foot into a high heel. When you're ready to clip out, kick your heel outwards and your toes inwards forcefully. If you have trouble clipping into your bike, we recommend holding down the brake and putting the full weight onto the pedal. Do not loosen the tension screw at the bottom of the pedal as it may cause damage to the pedal. It's important to ride your bike after making adjustments to confirm that your seat height, seat depth, and handlebar height are positioned correctly for your comfort. Start by clipping into your bike. With your hands on the bar in the riding position, bring your right foot to the six o'clock position. Your knee should have a slight bend. If you don't have a bend in your knee, lower your seat. If you have too big of a bend in your knee, raise your seat. Next, we are going to confirm that your seat height is in the right depth. Place your foot in the three o'clock position. In this position, your knee should lie above the ball of your foot. If your knee is behind the ball of your foot, move your seat forward. If your knee is ahead of your foot, move your seat back. It may help to have a friend or family member confirm the positioning of your knee. From here, you can begin to pedal. You should be able to comfortably pedal without your hips rocking, your knees locking out, or your toes dropping down to the bottom of the pedal stroke. If you feel like your legs are reaching, then lower your seat. If your knees are going out to the sides, then raise your seat. If you notice your hips are rocking, it's likely that your seat is too high. Try lowering your seat a little at a time until you are no longer rocking as you pedal. Now that your seat height is set, it's time to confirm your handlebar position. You want to make sure your hands can rest comfortably at the bottom of the handlebars while allowing for a slight bend in the arms. If you feel like you are reaching or straining, try raising the handlebars. Feel free to modify your handlebar height position to accommodate any unique physical needs or limitations.